you have any stories to share about the great Stan Freeberg? Working with him. Oh, um, it, it was a uh, through I worked with Stan Freeberg on the Weird Al show, my uh, CBS uh, kids show in the, the late '90s. And um, you know, I, I tried to work with as many of my idols as possible, but Stan was the only one that said yes. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, Tom Lehrer is just like the J.D. Salinger of music. He just does not want to be in public at all. Uh, I ran into Shel Silverstein, and, and uh, he um, said he would be a consultant on the show, or I could run ideas by him, but he didn't want to be in camera. Uh, so Stan Freeberg was the only one that was uh, open to, to, to being on the show. He played J.D. Toppersmith, who was sort of the, the high-powered network executive that always gave you stupid notes, and I'd have to follow him because he, like, wrote, you know, uh, ostensibly gave me my paycheck every week. Uh, and it's just such a thrill to be able to um, work with my idol every day, to go to, go to work on their Stan Freeberg. Uh, and his son Donovan uh, was on the show as well, both Stan and, and Donovan uh, played Papa Bully and Baby Bully, the puppets on the Fred Huggins show, or, or they, they just hated me with a passion. Uh, so, you, um, I mean, that's not a really amusing anecdote, but it was just such a great thrill for me to be able to, to work with a guy who, who really is, is on my Mount Rushmore inspirations.